Hi everybody, all audience members, uh, 1 through, uh, I'm gonna say 12, be warned, you know, uh, I did drop the F-bomb, like, twice in this video, and, uh, just, just so it doesn't catch you by surprise, um, if, if you don't know what the F-bomb is, don't watch the video. Hello everybody, today, in the, I am gonna be doing a technology zen video, a Zen of Technology video. Today I'm going to be discussing jailbreaking in the simplest and most zenful way possible. Uh, I am going to be explaining about how jailbreaking works and about why uh, there might not be a way to jailbreak 2.0 firmware, which means the iPhone 3G, or upgraded iPod Touches slash iPhones in the near future. Uh, I'm going to be explaining this to you in the simplest way possible. Okay? So, I'm going to now back up. You see over there the wet area of soil? That is firmware 1.0. And, you know, all of 1.1.2, 1.1.3, 1 and 4, right? Over there, that's firmware 2.0. Okay? And you see over here... I... I... Okay, let's just... Hmm. Okay. Over here, one second, okay, this is not working, there we go. And over there is Steve Jobs. Hi Steve Jobs, thank you for your great products. Okay, so, this is how it goes. Steve Jobs says, here's an iPhone, and there's its firmware. And what hackers say is, this is freaking stupid. We need to make third-party apps for this firmware, or, you know, whatever. So they say, we make installer.app, installer.app seed. And they find an exploit to get installer.app onto firmware 1.1.1. And then people start making apps which fit the framework and work. These are all the pretty little apps. And they all work and it's all fine. Until Steve Jobs says, Screw you, hackers! I hate you all! You fucked up my system! Sorry, I said the F word, all you kids. Okay. Then, hackers say, no, no, no. Screw you, Mr. Jobs, because we have another exploit right there. And then all the pretty apps that people made can go back. Yay! Now everyone's happy. And then Steve Jobs uh, does two more screws you, screw you's and releases new firmwares and then in turn hackers find exploits and all the apps work okay now this is why it's not so easy on firmware 2.0 you see job says screw you again i'm gonna make new frameworks for making apps and release firmware 2.0 and then the hackers say no 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 screw you mr jobs we are gonna find an exploit and they plant the exploit and then they get an app and they say, okay, let's run some of the apps that people made for installer.app. They put the app on iPhone 3G or, you know, firmware 2.0. And you know what Jobs says? You didn't fit my goddamn framework. So the apps don't work. And in turn, all of the things that people have made for installer app just don't Frickin' work on 2.0. So, unless all of the people in the world who have created apps for, for, uh, damn it, this is beginning to sound really stupid that I'm fumbling with what I'm gonna say, but, um, unless all the people who've developed apps for installer recode and reformat their applications, there will be no more installer. There will be no more emulators, no more VNC clients, no more anything for iPod Touch 2.0, iPhone 3G. The only last choice you have is to use the App Store, which is no, because the App Store takes something like this, a budding blossom, this is an emulator. This is the Game Boy Advance emulator. Somebody has recoded it for the frameworks. And they say, okay, we'll put it on the App Store. And Steve Jobs over there says, fuck you. No, 
You can't have this crap. This thing is illegal. Even though it's not illegal, Jobs says screw you. Jobs says screw you. And you know what I say in the end? Screw you, Microsoft. Because in the end, it's all your fault. Freaking Windows. Freaking Microsoft. God. No, but seriously. Uh, unless all of the apps coded for installer.app number one uh, recode to fit the frameworks for iPod Touch 2.0, there will be no more installer. So, anyone who's ever made an app for installer.app, please start coding now! I'm, 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 I'm shouting, I'm, I'm calling all y'alls out right now to, to, to fire up your coding engines and do something about this bullshit. Sorry. I, I apologize for all of the words I've said. All of my four-year-old audiences, uh, don't tell your parents that I said this to you. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope this explains something. Bye.